NXT New Year's Evil 2021. NXT New Year's Evil was a special episode of WWE weekly television series NXT, broadcast on the United States of America network. It took place on January 6, 2021, at the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, and featured WWE virtual fan viewing experience for their NXT brand division called the Capital Wrestling Center. This event was the first to have its New Year's theme since New Year's Revolution in 2007. It was hosted by Dexter Loomis. Six matches were contested at the event. In the main event, Finn Balor defeated Cal O'Reilly to retain the NXT Championship. In other prominent matches, Santos Escobar defeated Grand Metalik to retain the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Raquel Gonzalez defeated Rhea Ripley in a last woman standing match and in the opening bout. Karrion Cross defeated Damian Priest. Background. New Year's Evil is a professional wrestling event currently produced by WWE. It was last used for a special episode of WCW Monday Nitro on December 27, 1999. WWE acquired World Championship Wrestling WCW in 2001. After 21 years since that WCW event, WWE revived the name for their January 6, 2021 episode of NXT. Prior to this event, WWE also organized a pay-per-view in a similar theme, New Year's Revolution, which was held from 2005 to 2007. WWE also announced that the show would be hosted by NXT wrestler Dexter Loomis. Impact of the COVID-19 Pandemic Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, WWE NXT events had to be presented from a behind-closed-door set at NXT home base of Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida since mid-March. WWE programming for Raw and SmackDown were also done in this manner but at the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Before moving to Orlando's Amway Center in August in the setup of the WWE Thunderdome, the Thunderdome was then relocated to Tropicana Field in Street Petersburg, Florida in December. In October 2020, it was announced that beginning with TakeOver 31, NXT would be moving their events to the Performance Center which would feature the new Capital Wrestling Center setup and homage to the Capital Wrestling Corporation, the predecessor to WWE. Like the Thunderdome for Raw and SmackDown, LED balls were placed around the Performance Center so the fans could attend virtually, while additionally, friends and family members of the wrestlers were in attendance, along with a limited number of actual live fans, divided from each other by plexiglass walls. Storylines NXT, New Year's Evil featured professional wrestling matches that involved different wrestlers from pre-existing scripted feuds and storylines. Wrestlers portrayed heroes, villains, or less distinguishable characters in scripted events that built tension and culminated in a wrestling match or series of matches.